why you're ambitious, you can survive. No? And the first thing what, when they let me out from the concentration camps over there, and uh, Stalin died, and uh, Khrushchev came to power. Khrushchev. He led all prisoners to look over, to let them go, to be free. And I went. I tried to find out what happened with a, a number of my relatives of, uh, about my parents. When they took me to the army, I was only 16 years old. What happened with my parents, I never knew. But my uh, father, he told me, don't worry, you go to the peasants outside our uh, city and be that friendly with them, they will hide us. But this didn't happen. They killed them, killed them all of them. And the only thing what they showed me in Ukraine is that where that they were buried in a common big grave, common Sure. I was, I, I got only one idea to go outside, to go to the United States. That friend, Roman, who used to live in Moscow, and uh, I saved his life and he told me when they released him, come to Moscow, come to me. They released him before because his mother and father, they hired the attorney and uh, the attorney made sure that they will release him. He was in the concentration camp for 50, only for, I think 54, 55, about five years. I was a little bit longer, I was six years, because nobody released me before. As soon as I came, I, I tried to find my I went to Rome and all that, and that person, he still told me that he took me and he helped me to find a way to go out. He himself tried to go out. He helped me with that. But bottom line, we made it out. Well, you can do it. You're not here.